Welcome to our lecture online and here's a kind of a practical example of how to use the binomial distribution approximation method to find what the probability is for example that cars are driving faster than 55 miles per hour. If we do an, an average and we see that the average speed of the cars is 58 miles per hour which would then be the expected value if we assume a normal distribution and we know that the split speed limit is 55 miles per hour we know that the standard deviation of the speeds measured is 4 miles per hour, then what would be the probability that a car is driving 50, faster than 55 miles per hour as they're driving past us? So graphing this out, we can see that this would be V. This, would, of course, would be the probability of V. You can see that the average or expected value is 58. And you're looking for all possibilities or the probability that cars will be driving faster than 55 miles per hour, which means we're going to add, be adding this area to this area. Now this area, of course, this side of the area is already one half because that corresponds to one half of the total area underneath the curve. We just need to add this particular value to it. So what we need to find there is the equivalent Z value for 55 miles per hour. And we can say that the Z value is equal to uh, the uh, value minus the what we call the expected value divided by and of course instead of x i probably want to use v divided by the standard deviation so in this case it's 55 minus 58 divided by 4 which is minus 3 divided by 4 which is minus 0 0.75 again even though this is negative that means we're to the left of the mean or the expected value we can find the area between 55 and the expected value simply by taking the equivalent positive area. So by looking at the table for plus 0.75 instead of negative 0.75 for the S value. So simply that looking at the curve, we know what we're doing here. So we can then say that the probability of finding a velocity greater than 55 miles per hour is equal to 0 0.5. That is equal for this area right here plus the area corresponding to a z value of 0.75. Looking at the chart right here, 0.75 corresponds to a probability of 0.2734, which is the area underneath the curve of this section of the graph right there. So it would be plus 0 0.2734, which is equal to 0 0.7734, or 77.34 percent. That's the probability that you'll find a car that's driving faster than the speed limit. And that's how we do that.